Hello there, my lovelies. I'm back from my little break. Did you miss me? <laughs> so, uh, this is the first video that I am filming in my new home. I'm actually um, in my new living room. We have mostly unpacked. We have a few bits of furniture still to move, but for the most part we are happy and all moved into our new place. And at some point I will do a mini house tour video for you guys when we're all set up. But for today I'm going to be doing a simple little make. Um, you may have guessed by the uh, thumbnail picture, it's from uh, Super Mario. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, basically it's a monster in Super Mario, which is called a piranha plant. So, um, the best way to describe them is they are a carnivorous sort of plant. Um, that tries to eat Mario as he progresses through the levels. Um, I will put a picture in the video. So this is what hopefully I'll be making today. Okay, so if you'd like to make one of these yourself, and follow along at home, you'll need these materials here. So, you'll need a pot of some sort, a little terracotta one. Now I'm using a miniature pot that I got from a craft store. You can use um, any size you wish. I'm just using a little one for effect. Okay. Second of all, you will need some clay. I'm using standard air drying clay. You can use oven bake um, if you wish, but for today I'm going to be using just some grey air drying clay. In this little pot here I have some gloss varnish and this is an additional extra my model a bit more professional looking. Some water to help um, mould your clay and a selection of paints. So these are the colours I'm going to be using to paint my model afterwards. Of course if you're using uh, a brand like Fimo or Sculpey Clay um, they come in a wide variety of colours that are already pre-made, so you won't need this step. So I'm just going to clear my area and we can get started. So I've got my pot and I've popped some clay in the middle just to give it a base for my model. So let's just clean you up a bit. Okay. Now to begin with, I'm going to need a small amount for the stalk of the plant. Okay. Making 
make sure it's nice and moldable. will get very messy doing this, but I find that's all part of the fun. to attach it to my base. Okay, so I'm just smoothing down the edges here and molding it into the shape I want it. I'm just going to put a bit more clay around the bottom just to support it. making a little cone at the top so that the head can sit in there. Okay. to pinch it in at one end, just make it slightly egg shaped, okay, just smooth it off, see how that fits, yeah it should be big enough. Take a knife and just push it through about a quarter of the way. my 
plant. I just want to go in there and hollow it out a little bit. Shaping it and smoothing it out. I want to hollow out the mouth a little bit because he's going to have um, some teeth in here. first and then I'm going to add the details to the head and then I'll attach it to there. Okay. So I'm just going to let that dry and we can carry on. we are. So I have the head now attached to the body and I've put a strand of clay around the mouth. Okay. So the last few bits we need to add are the spots on the flower head and the leaves coming out the bottom. So I'm just going to add those now. Okay. So I think first I'll do the leaves, grabbing another piece of clay. the end a bit to make it more leaf-like. As I'm doing this I'm pressing down just to flatten the clay out a bit. Okay. shape. Just thin it out to more towards that end. And then I want to attach it and bend it around the pot slightly. So this gives the illusion that out of the pot. It's also a bit more lifelike. Okay, just bend the tip. So that's one leaf. We'll do the same on the other side. So again, rolling it into a ball and then 
and start to flatten it out. Just pressing down and then pulling it out to one pinch there. shape. Okay, just lift the head up. And again, just fold it over the both our leaves. I'm just going to add the spots. Okay. So for this part we just want really small uh, balls or discs and you're going to want to flatten them out slightly um, which you can do once they're on the model Press it down a little bit. Okay, onto your model. Just get another piece. And it's kind of rinse and repeat. So, again, just roll a little ball. down gently onto your model.
couple of slightly smaller ones to the top give it a bit of variation and varnishing so I'll see you in a moment here he is I've painted him and you'll notice he's got his spots his teeth and his little tongue And I've covered him in a gloss varnish and he's still drying but you can see what he'll look like now that he's finished. Okay, let's just pick him up a second. I'm really happy with how this turned out and I may do some more in the future. I think they'd be quite cute to have um, next to all our video game consoles. Let me know if you'd like me to do a series of little geeky projects like this one. I can't wait to hear your feedback and as always I'd like to thank you guys for waiting patiently for me to come back and for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next one.